Back at the book segment tonight, researchers at the Educational Testing Service in Princeton, New Jersey, analyzed data from a standardized test concentrating on reading, math, and computers. In the 16 to 34 demographic, young Americans did very poorly. In literacy, we were number 16 out of 22 countries. In numeracy, numeracy, which is math, we're tied for, with Italy and Spain for last. And in computer issues, we're tied again for last with Ireland and Poland in the Slovakian Republic. This is not good. Joining us from Washington, analyze Miss Laura Ingram. What do you think happened here? Well, I think over the last 30 years, Bill, we've seen a decline in educational standards as Washington has uh, laid down its dictates uh, from the Department of Education. And I think kind of the, the, the old ways of teaching were uh, generally regarded as outdated and old fashioned. But part of the problem with that is that there's a, uh, there's a baseline that's missing. Uh, of knowledge for young people, and I think when you co when you compare us to some of these other countries, obviously you see the differential. And and we should also remember that we all bought into this idea of globalism, right? It was going to be great to to have all this trade with all these other countries, and it was going to work out well for us. But it, you know, I think I think we've seen that it's been a lot harder for Americans to integrate into the global economy uh, than some of the experts uh, believe. But what does it would that have be. to do with uh, younger Americans not knowing anything? Well, I think I think we have to understand that we ha we're going to always have a group of people, Bill, that are not going to become STEM uh, workers. They're not going to become scientists. They're probably going to uh, could make yeah, a decent I mean, living in manufacturing. People, but but my my parents were kind of working class. They both had college degrees. Yeah. But they came from. My grandfather was a cop. My other grandfather was a train conductor, um, and and they knew a lot of stuff. My my you know my grandfathers. Uh, the train and the cop, they knew, you know, math and, and they knew who the president was and what the issues were and it was discussed around the table and, you know, just because you're a working class person doesn't mean you don't know anything. Well, yeah, I, I understand that, but I, we, we live in a world now where there are a lot of distractions for all of us. I think and, that's and, the key. And I and think there's people, no discipline, I mean, no discipline, thing, and, and yeah, absolutely. Every second, you they know, have to text 24-7, yeah. they have to text and tell their friends what kind of socks they have on and uh, what kind of morning what kind cereal of socks they're do eating. do you have on, Bill? That's I have really what my we... basic black, I'm a boring oh, yeah. guy. Damn, but I don't, damn. I, need to, I don't need to Twitter about it, Ingram. Yeah, I don't need to exactly. tell everybody about it, okay? So there's a veneer of knowledge, that's what you're talking about, which yeah. I think there's, there's a lot to that. But it's a lack of discipline combined with the, with the rise of the machines. Look, um, yeah. I know that teachers in America try hard, most of them, okay? I know that in public and private schools, and they're underpaid, most of them. But there's no discipline supporting them. Well, Bill, you can't discipline. If you, 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 you can't, you, right. You discipline, right. you so get sued. If, if, uh, so if little Carmine is, is disrupting the class by setting off fireworks, yeah, Bill, they can't like, do anything about do. it. Yeah, when, you, when the nuns got at you, Bill, they would rip, your, uh, rip you by the arm down to the principal's office. The nuns, say, the nuns oh, I had never do this again. were transferred to Abu Ghraib. <laughs> All right, well, that's yeah, the nuns I had. Bill, you were afraid not to learn, right? I mean, being sent I didn't to the want a hood over office, me. No, you don't want that ruler. You didn't know. We're not saying right. you have to do but that. I'm but not, I'm not advocating that because I no, myself, as not. you know, not, were Bill, a, No, I was a Bill, teacher. You're a, common, you're a common sense guy. And I never laid a hand on a kid. Right, but right, I did demand yeah. that they do the work. And if they didn't I, do the work, they were scorned. Right. That, well, shame is out. I mean, you can't shame. You, when, I, when I was in high school, okay, this is 19, 1981, you actually could list class ranking. That was public. Yeah. Right? It was listed on the board. And it was kind of exciting. And if you didn't do well, it was like, it wasn't exciting for me time. at St. Bridget's School. I was in the dumb row. Right. That's true. Good point. Well, we, I, I we was. Have some work I was in do, the Bill. dumb row. And it was designated with a big D, the dumb row. And I called my attorney and said, you have to sue these people. You yeah, you got to sue the nuns, and that didn't work so long. No. But we, ha we, have comp we have a competitive world. We have to find room for all segments of society in our workforce. So we've got to think about that before we offshore all our jobs and bring in a whole bunch of new I think we have to redesign the, educational si the public educational system. It has to be redesigned. I Power mean, the test the scores are in. These people, yeah. you see Waters World, I mean, they don't know anything. They don't care. You have I'm to still demand trying to get that over, they hey, learn. Hey, Bill, I'm still trying to get over the Waters world about 50 shades of gray with the handcuffs, okay? I'm still trying to get over that segment. It was shocking. Segment. It wasn't a shocking? That, I mean, uh, that, was a, was that, was a, that was something. And the, pro and the problem was the people that Waters talked to about the handcuffs, 
they couldn't spell handcuffs. They know Fifty Shades of Grey. They don't know much about the framers, though, probably. And they couldn't spell Grey. They use oh, it with exactly. an A, not an E. G-R-A-Y-E-Y. -E. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, okay. So we both agree that it is a decline in the standard of learning, not teaching, learning in the public school system that has led to this dismal performance. Right. We know a lot of PC stuff, Bill. We know a lot about how America screwed up and how America you know, was terrible to women and, and other groups. But uh, we don't know a lot about the basics that you need to know to survive in the global economy. We need to do better. All right, Laura Ingram, everybody. Factor tip of the day, another military situation that you should know about. The tip as the factor continues all across the USA and all around the world. The lightest or nothing. The smartest or nothing. The quietest or nothing. The sleekest, sexiest, baddest, safest, tightest, quickest, harshest, or nothing. At Mercedes-Benz, we do things one way or we don't do them at all. The 2015 C-Class. See your authorized Mercedes-Benz dealer for exceptional offers through Mercedes-Benz Financial Services.